Hi, I'm Sally. Welcome to the Smart Pot Greenhouse. It's January. You are wanting to get started and the soil outside is cold. The weather's a little unpredictable. So what's a gardener to do? Well, one thing you may have noticed in stores coming out early, early, early in the season, these things come to us, are bare root plants. Uh, if you never tried them before, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and some of the reasons why you might enjoy starting some stuff this year with bare roots. Bare root plantings are the most economical for a grower. As you can see, the packaging is inexpensive. There's barely any soil volume in here at all that keeps the price down. And they haven't had to put this into a container and grow it and keep it looking good until it comes to your greenhouse later in the season. Uh, that's an investment of time and staff, water and nutrients that they can just pass on to the consumer by going ahead and getting some of their stuff out as bare root plantings. This is a grape. This is something that I bought because we've been wanting to do some grapes, but I haven't gotten my area prepared yet with trellising. Anyway, I can get it started this way and then move it into the trellising area so that we can get more than just one grape and get them trained up on the wires and see how we do with grapes. We haven't grown them here before, so I'm excited about that. Another smart pot plant that gets absolutely rave reviews, we always recommend planting your blueberries in smart pots. This blueberry, which is a variety I've been wanting to try, Climax, you can see it's under 10 bucks. So it's an easy way to get started save a little bit of money. Later on in the season, you want to splurge for some bigger plants, go ahead, add to, add to your garden. But if you want to get started, this is a really good, convenient way to go. Something that I'm not so familiar with are strawberries as a bare root plant. This says it's got 10 plants for $5. A pint strawberry is probably going to be before, between $4 and $5 later on when you get out there and find them, probably in a month or two. You're going to see them and they're going to be gorgeous, but what about getting some of these started? Strawberries are perennial in most climates, so I decided to get some and we'll see what they look like. We've had some fun with our no cocoa liners in hanging baskets and plant stands, so I've put some soil in here and moistened it. So let's see what we got here. This is really cool. It's got some decent roots growing here, and you can see just the warmth of the bag. It started to put some leaves up. Okay, so we're going to wet this down. And when you start a bare root plant, generally speaking, the advice is to soak it in some water before you start your planting, because that way you won't be damaging the roots as you unbundle. This one had a rubber band around it. I didn't see it. Oh, uh, looky here. Look at that. That is pretty exciting. And man, if we get 10 strawberries for this price, that is a great deal. So we separated out all our plants here. I'm going to put three in this container. I think that there will be enough room for that. So just a little tip. Strawberry comes from what they call a crown. It's this kind of woody stem right here. And you want to make sure that that is above the surface of the soil. Don't bury that or you'll be burying your plant alive. So we're going to spread the roots out nice and evenly. Pick a spot for them. Go down just a little bit. And what I like to do when planting strawberries, I've created my little depression in the soil. Now I'm going to put kind of a little hill right in the middle of it just like that. And that way I can set the crown of the strawberry on top of that little hill. I know it's not going to go too deep. I'm going to spread the roots out as evenly as I can over the sides of the little hill. There we go. Move the soil level lower for the roots and then fill in. Now your roots are separated. They're moist. They've got some moisture, some water. So here's just roots. So I'm just going to scrape that away a little bit. Spread that out gently. 
and then cover with soil. And you can see the crown is still high above here. Okay, so we've got our three guys in here. They're kind of in the middle, and I think that's okay. Uh, they will fill out all along here with leaves. That gives plenty of room for us to direct the berries over the edges. I'll put a little more soil volume around the outside, not around these little guys, because remember, we don't want to bury that crown. And then we'll water them in. I think for this one, I'm going to put a little hay on top as a mulch to just keep a little moisture in because remember hanging baskets will dry out more quickly than anything that's in contact with the ground just because all the sides are up there in the breeze all the time. So until it warms up a little bit you might want to leave this sitting on the ground outside um, and then hang it up when it gets a little bit warmer. But I think these are going to be a fun pretty container. I can imagine them on a porch on a railing and like I said, my goodness, that is an economical way to start a strawberry bed, especially if you're wanting to go a big strawberry bed. This would be killer. Um, save you tons of money and get you an early start. So thanks for watching. We do hope that you subscribe. I'm going to tell you a funny one. I told my mother, Mom, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're not getting all the videos because you're not subscribed. And she said, well, how do I pay for that? It's not like a magazine subscription, Mom. It doesn't cost you a penny. Just touch the button to subscribe, and that makes sure that when we put out a new video from Smart Pots, you won't miss out. Send us your questions, your pictures, info at smartpots.com, and happy gardening.